Lara. I'm an industrial engineering student in Deccant University. Today I'm going to make an experiment in order to prove Newton's first law of conservation of momentum. Momentum can be defined as mass in motion and it can be measured by multiplying mass and velocity. And we know that in a closed system, momentum is conserved due to the first law of Newton. And now we can move to the experiment equivalence. Our equipments are a table, a ruler, two packs, and balance and a calculator. Since we know that packs are 450 grams, we don't need balance to use in this video. As first, we will prepare the a table with placing the carbon tape. And now, we are placing the packs. Now we open the air table. And there is two pedals with some air vacuum. And now we are making the When they collide, I am turning the other side of the carbon paper. And now we can see the patterns that is made by spark timer. And this is the collision moments at left box starting points and this is finished. And now we can measure the distances that have moved before the collision and after the collision. And with that, we can find the instantaneous velocities for the collision and after the collision. With the velocities that we have measured, we can draw the velocity time graphs and mass lines in order to find the instantaneous velocities at the time before and after collision. And we can find the impulses, which is masses multiplying with velocity for each part and compare them. We can decide whether there is Conservation of momentum or not. It's compared to the impulse of each box. And thanks for listening to me. That's my experiment of physics 101.